Hi friends, good morning. My name is Mr. Jim and I work at the Fayetteville Public Library and I'm really glad you've joined me for another toddler story time today. A reminder for adults that you can still get items from the library through our curbside pickup service. And Miss Sarah and I will bring you a new virtual toddler story time every Thursday morning through our social media platforms. I'm really glad you've joined us today. In today's toddler story time, we're gonna talk about these things. What's that behind me? It's a chair. We're talking about chairs today in story time. There are lots of different kinds of chairs. Think about the chairs that you sit on in the day. Is there a chair that you use to eat? Is there a chair that you use to listen to stories? There are so many different chairs that you could sit on. At the library, we have lots and lots of new chairs and I'm gonna show you some of those chairs in a little bit. We're also gonna read some stories about chairs today. There's one animal that really likes chairs that we're gonna talk about. Let's sing a good morning song to get started. Can you wave hello like this? Can you say hello in sign language? Can you ask, how are you today? How are you today? That's how we say that question in sign language. We're gonna sing a song that says hello in those different ways and asks you how you're feeling today. Are you ready to sing with me? When we get ready for story time, we sing, hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Very good. Why don't we sing it one more time? We sing, hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Good job, friends. Give yourself a round of applause. Now there are lots of different kinds of chairs. Some chairs are made for big kids. Some chairs are made for little kids. So in our first story, we're gonna read this book. It's called Peter's Chair. And there's Peter. Peter's a big kid. And Peter has a new baby sister. Baby sister's a little kid. Who do you think should use this little chair? Let's find out in this book. This is Peter's Chair by Ezra Jack Keats. There are three things I like to do when we listen to stories. The first thing that we do is we make sure we're sitting down on our bottoms. Maybe you're sitting in a chair. I'm sitting in a chair. The second thing you do is you put your listening ears on. Here are my ears. Where are your ears? Oh, there they are. And the third thing we do is we catch a bubble in our mouth. And blow it out slow. Catch another bubble. Very good. That helps us turn our voices off. Our ears are on and listening, and we're sitting down to use our eyes to see the first story, Peter's Chair. Let's see what happens to the chairs in this book. Peter stretched as high as he could. There, his tall building was finished. That's a really tall building Peter made out of blocks. Crash! Down it came. Oh no, the dog ran through the tower of blocks. Shh, called his mother. You'll have to play more quietly. Remember, we have a new baby in the house. A new baby. We have to be quiet around the new baby. Peter looked into his sister Susie's room. His mother was fussing around the cradle. That's my cradle, he thought and they painted it pink. Hi, Peter, said his father. Would you like to help paint sister's high chair? It's my high chair, whispered Peter. It used to be his high chair when he was a baby. Now they need to use it for the new baby. He saw his crib and muttered, my crib. It's painted pink too. Not far away stood his old chair. They didn't paint that yet, Peter shouted. Just because they painted a certain color doesn't mean it belongs to you. He picked it up and ran to his room. He took that little chair back to his bedroom. Let's run away, Willie, he said. 
Peter filled a shopping bag with cookies and dog biscuits. We'll take my blue chair, my toy crocodile, and the picture of me when I was a baby. Willie got his bone. He's going to run away just because he wants to keep his little chair. They went outside and stood in front of the house. This is a good place, said Peter. He arranged his things very nicely and decided to sit in his chair for a while. There's his little blue chair. Time to sit down. <gasps> but he couldn't fit in the chair. He was too big. Peter's a big kid now and can't fit in the little kid chair. His mother came to the window and called, Why don't you come back to us, Peter dear? We have something very special for lunch. Peter and Willie made believe they didn't hear. But Peter got an idea. Soon his mother saw signs that Peter was home. That rascal's hiding behind the curtain, she said happily. How does she know he's hiding behind the curtain? There's some shoes sticking out from under the curtain. She moved the curtain away, but he wasn't there. It was just shoes. Here I am, shouted Peter. He was hiding behind the dresser. Peter sat in a grown-up chair. His father sat next to him. Daddy, said Peter, let's paint this little chair pink for Susie. And they did. That's nice that they're getting the chair ready for Sister Susie. Oh, and Willie walks through the paint and he's tracking dog paw prints. The end. That's the end of this story, friends. Peter's chair. Peter grew up into a big kid and couldn't sit in the little chair anymore. But his little sister Susie would need it soon, so he was getting it ready for her. That was really nice to give his chair to his sister. Thanks for listening to this story. The end. Did you know that you can say the word chair with your hands? In American Sign Language, we can use our hands to say the word chair. First, take two fingers. That will be the chair. Then take your other two fingers and make them into legs that sit on the chair. This is how we say chair in American Sign Language. Chair. Chair. Next, we're going to sing a song that helps us get our wiggles out and helps us sit back down for our next story. We're going to stand up for this song. First, we're going to start with our hands and they're going to go clap, clap, clap. My two hands go clap, clap, clap. My two feet go tap, tap, tap. My two hands go thump, thump, thump. My two feet go jump, jump, jump. My one body turns around and it quietly sits down. Are you sitting in your chairs or on the floor? Good job, friends. Why don't we do that one more time? Are you ready? My two hands go clap, clap, clap. My two feet go tap, tap, tap. My two hands go thump, thump, thump. My two feet go jump, jump, jump. My one body turns around and it quietly sits down. Good job, friends. Give yourself a round of applause. Thanks for getting your wiggles out with me. Now that we're sitting back down, we're ready for our next story. This book is called Bears on Chairs. And look, there's one, two, three, four bears on one, two, three, four chairs. All different colors of bears sitting on different chairs. Are you ready to read this book with me? Are you sitting back down on your bottom? Are your listening ears back on? Did you catch a bubble in your mouth? I guess we're ready for the next story, Bears on Chairs. Bears on Chairs. Four small chairs, just right for bears. Where is the bear for each small chair? There needs to be a bear sitting on each of these chairs. Calico Bear sits on a chair. 
He likes it there on his one chair. Now Fuzzy Bear wants a chair. She climbs up there on the second chair. Another chair is over there. Yellow Bear takes that chair. Here's Floppy Bear. She takes a chair. She's happy there on the last chair. Look at Calico Bear looking underneath the chair. Uh, silly Yellow Bear standing on the chair. Are you supposed to stand on chairs? No, chairs are for sitting. Floppy Bear laying on the chair. That's really silly. Four happy bears on four small chairs. Not a bear has to share. They each have their own chair. Do you remember when Peter shared his chair with little baby sister? Oops, Big Brown Bear looks for a chair. Is there a chair for Big Brown Bear to sit on? There is none there for that big bear. Big Bear is big and these chairs were little. Where's Big Bear going to sit? What a stare from Big Brown Bear. Can you stare with your eyes? That Big Bear wants a chair. Can Big Brown Bear make a pair with Floppy Bear on her one chair? There's not a lot of room on that chair. No, Floppy Bear and that Big Bear cannot share one small chair. They tried, it just didn't work. That big bear needs one whole chair. There's none to spare for big brown bear. The little bears need to come up with an idea. Look, Calico Bear shifts his chair over there near big brown bear. Is Calico Bear sharing their chair? Big Brown Bear helps Calico Bear make one double chair for three to share. They pushed their chairs together so they could all try and sit down. But oh no, two of the bears fall off of that chair. That double chair can't hold three bears. Rats, they tried. Fuzzy Bear looks over there. She scoots her chair beside the pair. Now how many chairs are together? One two, three. But how many bears are there? One, two, three, four. Oh, can three chairs fit four bears? Now Yellow Bear scoots his chair. Will one long chair hold all those bears? Do you think it's gonna fit all the bears? Let's find out. First, Big Brown Bear, then Yellow Bear, climb up there on that long chair. The other bears look over there. Is there room to spare for three more bears? Yes, they did it. There's room up there for all five bears. Now it's fair, the bears all share. One, two, three, four, Five. We got all five bears on the one big chair. And that's the end of this story. Those bears shared their chairs so that they could all sit down and enjoy them. That was really nice of those little bears to share with Big Brown Bear, wasn't it? Those chairs look comfortable too. I would want to sit on one of those chairs. Thanks for listening to this story, Bears on Chairs. Do you remember in the story when there weren't enough chairs for Big Brown Bear to sit down? We're going to play a game with my animal friends called Musical Chairs. In Musical Chairs, there are one, two, three chairs, but one, two, three, four animal friends. There are more animals than there are chairs. That means someone doesn't get a chair, and if they don't get a chair, they are out. When there's music playing, my animal friends are going to move. When the music stops, they need to grab a chair. Let's see what happens in musical chairs.
Uh-oh, the music stopped and Little Duck is not in a chair. That means Little Duck is out. Thanks for playing, Little Duck. Now there are one, two, three animal friends, but only one, two chairs. Let's start the music and see who gets a chair next. The music stopped and little dog is not in a chair. That means little dog is out. But thank you for playing, little dog. Now there are one, two animal friends, but only one chair left. Who will win musical chairs? Let's start the music and find out. The music stopped and Little Bear is in the chair. That means Little Bear won the game Musical Chairs. Congratulations, Little Bear. Thanks to Little Bear, Big Tiger, Little Duck, and Little Dog for playing. I wanted to show you these pictures of different chairs. We're not gonna read this book, but look at all the chairs in this book. Do these chairs look the same? No, all of these chairs are different. There's a yellow chair. This one has pink and white stripes. This one is super tall and orange. You can see through this chair. Chairs can look really different. They can be made out of different things and they can do different things. Look at this rocking chair that rocks back and forth and back and forth. We have some chairs that rock in the library. Some chairs are really little. They're sitting in little chairs like Peter tried to. Do you remember when Peter tried to sit in the chair but it was too small for him? There's so many different kinds of chairs and I want to show you some of the chairs around the library. Did you like seeing all of the chairs around the library? That last chair was the one that's at my desk that I work in. We've got time for one more chair storybook with this book. This book is called Deep in the Forest. And look on the front, there's another bear. This book is special because it doesn't have any words. So we're gonna make words for this story. This book is by Brenton Turkle. Are you ready to find the chair in this book? Let's see what chair Little Bear can find. Deep in the forest, there's Little Bear. And what does Little Bear find in the woods? There's a house in the woods. Maybe Little Bear should investigate. Little Bear peeks inside, but there's nobody home. But he smells something really good. Little Bear sniffs up towards the kitchen table where there are one, two, three bowls. And in those bowls are yummy porridge. Little Bear goes to Big Papa Bowl first, but ouch, it's too hot. So he goes to the second bowl, which says Mama on it. And he, yeah, this porridge is too cold. 
Then he goes to the little bowl that says baby. And oh my goodness, I'm, 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 I'm. it's so good. It is just right. But uh oh, he drops the bowl and crash. It breaks on the floor. Oh well, what other fun things can you find in this house, little bear? <gasps> Look, what are these? They're chairs. Little bear goes to the big chair first. That must be Papa's chair. But ouch, it's too big and uncomfortable. He goes to the second chair. That must be Mama's chair. But mm -mm, it's too soft. Then the littlest chair, that must be Baby's chair. And Baby's chair rocks back and forth, then back and forth, then back and forth, and it's so much fun. But uh-oh, crunch. He breaks the little rocking chair. Oh well, what other fun things can Little Bear find in this house? He <laughs> sniffs into the next room. What's in the next room? There are beds in this room. So he jumps on the big bed. That must be Papa's bed. But, oh, it's too hard. So he goes to the second bed, and there's so many feathers, but they're too soft. So he goes to the littlest bed, and mm, 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 it is just right and so comfortable, and he falls fast asleep. Meanwhile, people come back to the house. They look inside the house and go, oh my goodness, what happened to our house? First, they look at the bowls. Papa says, someone's been eating my porridge. Mama says, someone's been eating my porridge. And little baby Goldilocks says, someone's been eating my porridge and they broke my bowl. Then they look at the chairs. Papa says, someone's been sitting in my chair. Mama says, someone's been sitting in my chair. And little baby Goldilocks says, someone was sitting in my chair and they broke it. They rocked too hard back and forth and they broke my chair. Then they went into the bedroom. Uh-oh. Wasn't little bear still in the bedroom? They look at the beds and Papa says, someone's been sleeping in my bed. Mama says, someone's been sleeping in my bed. And little baby Goldilocks peeks under the sheets and says, Someone's been sleeping in my bed and they're still there. It's a bear. And the family goes, A ah, bear, get out of the house, get out of the house. And they chase after little baby bear. And he runs into the forest and hides. And the family looks around, but they don't see the bear anymore. Do you see little baby bear hiding underneath the log? There he is, but they don't see him. Actually, I think Goldilocks sees him, but she's not gonna tell them where he is. And Little Bear finds his bear family. What an exciting adventure he had in the people's house. I hope there's not a bear sitting in your chair today. That's the end of this story, so we're going to say the end. The end. Thanks for listening to Deep in the Forest. We made up the words to this story all by ourselves. That's pretty neat that we can do that. Baby Bear found porridge, he found beds, and he found chairs to sit in. He was a little rough with one of those chairs though, but it was still a lot of fun. That's the end of this story. Thank you, friends. Friends, I had so much fun with you today in chair story time. Thanks for singing silly songs, learning how to say chair with our hands, and listening to all those picture books too. Before I go back into the library, I'm gonna put my mask on so that it covers my nose and my mouth and I don't spread any germs. Why don't we sing a goodbye song before we go? Can you wave goodbye like this? Let's sing a song together. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Let's sing it one more time. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you so much for listening to Storytime today. And remember, you made today a special day just by being you. Go check and make sure a baby bear didn't sit in your chair. We'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.